Wake the fuck up, Samurais. Wanderer here. Welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. My god, it's been a long wait, but we are finally here, and I am very excited to be bringing this to you today. Let's get started. So before we jump into the game, I'm going to show you my settings real quick, because I always have requests to show my game settings and stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now, just so you can see it. Um, so there is all of that. I'm going to disable um, copyright music, obviously because I'm recording this for YouTube. I don't recall where the, um, where the option was to disable nudity. I'm pretty sure I saw it previously. I haven't messed with this stuff too much. I might change it in the future because I'm not really a fan of like auto aim or, um, you know, it helping you out, but I guess we'll see how that goes. Ah, uh, there we go. Nudie sensor on. I'm sorry, guys. No boobies for you. We have to have it on because, you know, I don't want to get banned on YouTube. I am using ray tracing as well as uh, DLSS. Um, so this has kept my frame rate pretty balanced so far in my testing of the playthrough. So hopefully it continues to do so. I've gotten a steady 60 FPS so far. There is that. Um... So yeah, anyway, that's everything. Just wanted to show that guys. I wanted to show that to you guys real quick. I am gonna be starting a new game here. Um various difficulties that we have here. Easy. The right choice for players who just want to sit back and enjoy the story. Uh no, thank you. Normal. Enemies will have all their tools, but they're only super difficult if they're higher level. No, thank you. I think we're gonna be going with hard, guys. I thought about very hard, but um. I think we're going to be going with hard because very hard is for more experienced players. I don't know like what the builds are, what the best builds are yet. And I, want, I need to find that out before we start. So let's go ahead and start with hard. For my background, I think I'm going to go with a corpo for my first playthrough. If you leave the corporate world with their lives, you are still with their souls intact. You've been there, you've bent the rules, exploited secrets, and weaponized information. There's no such thing as a fair game, only winners and losers. So, my idea for a playthrough is going to be kind of a heavy hitter corpo. Someone that uh, was privy to the upper echelon of uh, society, but was, you know, of course, I don't want to spoil things, but was uh, cast out for reasons and um, wants to get some payback. Far as my character, my first one, we're going to do a male. And I'm not going to spend too much time on customization here. This will probably be okay. I know, like, a lot of people have spent, like, literally hours upon hours on the uh, character customization. I'm not going to spend too long, I promise. Um, skin type 01 to... Oh, four. Blush and cheeks. Uh, it's going to be either 01 or 04. Let's do 04 just to be different. Hairstyle. To rotate with Q and E here. This is alright. I don't want to do a thing too crazy here. We are a, um, a corpo after all. So minimalism is our thing. 38 is fine too. That's bald, and it goes back. Okay, we're just gonna go with 38. This is fine. Um, eyes. I think I need to get a side view to get a better idea of um, how these eyes are gonna look. I always feel like the further I deviate from the normal eyes, the worse the character looks. Although these don't look too bad. You know what? 11 looks pretty good. Be okay with that. Eye color, um, standard blue might be all right. Eyebrows, we're at five right now. It's a pretty nice and clean looking. It's not too bad. Yeah, uh, you know what? We're just gonna go with number one because I don't want to spend too long on this. You don't really see your character a ton pretty okay with him as it is. Um, 
I, when I was testing this out, I tried the uh, mouth variants, and like, they all look so similar. I just uh, don't care too much. We'll give them a pretty, pretty um, defined jawline, a decent chin. Whoops. Skip that one. Don't want to be no chinless wonder here. Also don't want to be no Jay Leno. That's all right. We'll go with that. Uh, ears, I'm not going to even touch them. They're fine. Beard-wise, beard style. Okay, I just want a standard beard. You know, just... Just the standard. And for beard style, what's this? Okay. We have, like, no mustache... No goatee, standard. Okay, we'll do standard then. Uh, for beard color, like... Yeah, either this or that. I think we'll do that, because beards are typically a little, a little bit lighter. Cyberware of one uh, is fine. I think it looks cool like that. No facial scars, no tattoos, no piercings. Um, teeth, I don't want any crazy teeth. The chrome actually looks okay on the teeth, though. Surprisingly, it looks kind of good with this, but no, we'll just, stand, we'll just do standard teeth for now. Um, blemishes are off. Nails are short. Nipples are on. Tattoos and scars. Okay, that's, that's all fine. This is good. I'm good with this. Like, I was okay with the standard V, and, um, yeah, so I'm gonna be going with a... I think a body and maybe um, maybe tech-based character. I don't know. I'm just not sure yet. I like tech weapons. They're really cool looking. Maybe body and reflexes. I don't know, though. Um, for sure, like, going to max out body. And I think for sure I want, like, a point into cool. But then, like, um, reflexes or tech ability... Tech represents your technical know-how. It allows you to unlock doors and use tech weapons. Each level increases your armor by 5%. Reflexes determine your maneuverability, increase your overall movement speed. Okay, so the, the character I'm going to go with is going to be like a move speed running gun based commando, right? Maybe using shotguns, I'm not quite sure yet. And this increases our crit chance, um, our evasion, and our mantis blade damage. The movement speed thing, I think, is going to be key because there are a bunch... I've looked at some of the the, um, the perks, and there are a bunch of perks related to doing more damage based on your movement speed, and there are a bunch of perks that give you movement speed as well. So, that's what we're going for, is a run-and-gun, run-in-there-blow-shit-up kind of guy. Not a uh, sneaky guy. You know, we'll see how it works out. I may have made a terrible mistake, I don't know. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how it works out. Hopefully it works good. You guys know I like my commando running gun style characters. I'm not huge on the whole stealth aspect. Oh my. V, you there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm here. You all right? Oh, fine. Just oh, needed a breather. Sounded like you blew your guts airlock. Yeah, I barfed. It's just stress. Uh, chamba te va a matar. Job's gonna kill ya. Somebody turned coat and gave up our agents. We had a leak. My boss called. Dragged me in because we had to intervene. Everyone at Night City HQ is on edge. But no way you're fucked, right? You're the one who fixes other people's shit. Jackie, if you work in our soccer counter intel, you're always fucked. Listen, gotta go. Work won't do itself. Buena suerte. I like how it kind of translates his uh, Spanish to us on the screen there. Pretty cool. I might end up learning some Spanish in this game. Okay, first time in that city, pay close attention to the tutorials and learn more about the basic mechanics. 
Okay, that's cool. Thanks. Right, moving around. What's going on back here? Uh, are you all right? I mean, I guess I just threw up. These guys look way cooler than me. This is definitely the cool crowd. I'm definitely not cool enough to hang out with these guys. Smoking in the boys' room. Head to Jenkins' office. Okay, we'll do that, but uh, first we're gonna look around, right? Because we gotta get all the stuff laying around everywhere. So we're gonna see if there's things we can grab. Running around like a maniac, everybody's gonna be wondering what the hell we're doing. Nope, oh, there is some stuff here. A family of empire, new shard. The legacy of Arasaka needs no introduction. The Arasaka Corporation is one of the world's most powerful, with offices located in every major metropolis across the globe. For years, it has been behind the proverbial wheel of our planet's economy and society. The history of Arasaka in Night City is deserving of its own article, but suffice to say, the media industry in our city follows the family behind the Megacorp as closely as they do share prices. The story of the Arasaka family is one of empire, a true dynasty under the rule of Patriarch Saburo Arasaka. Rumors of the great Saburo's retirement and cession of company control, as well as of its closely guarded secrets to his daughter, Hanako, and son, Yorinobu, have come and passed in recent years. But has the time come when such rumors may finally contain a grain of truth? Our sources report that Yorinobu Arasaka is currently in Night City, but not for a social call. And yet, if Yorinobu is strategizing a move for the throne, what of Hanoko? Experts who follow the family closely unanimously, unanimously agree that, due to ideological differences between Saburo and Yorinobu, Hanako will likely cement herself as the one true heir to the immense fortune and power of the Arasaka family. However, reality is hardly ever so predictable. Familial power dynamics can shift in an instant. For example, what would happen if Hanoko fell from favor at a time when Yorinobu had his father's ear? And scenario might cause such a fail. No family is without secrets, and the Arasakas are no exception. After all, what appears first as heaven appears second as hell, a Japanese proverb. Well, big old lore dump about Arasaka there. You think Japan will find out? About what? Big five employers in Night City. So I'm not really all that knowledgeable about Night City's lore and about uh, the lore in general in this game, so I'm going to be reading these quite a bit. Hope that's okay with you guys. It's that time of year again where we present our list of the biggest and best corps to work for in Night City. Who offers paid vacation? Who pays for employees' trauma team insurance policies? Who provides discounts for daycare and child bodyguard services? Have a look at our rankings below. Number 1, Arasaka. Coming in again this year in our number 1 spot, the Japanese Zaibatsu Juggernaut. Employees can expect to be fit with the latest in cyberware technology with a loyal obligation of only 20 years. It's not bad. 20 years is not bad at all for this place because, um, you know, people can live to be 100 plus in this place. Number two is Militech. The American arms giant provides its employees with a 50% discount on all Militech weapons. With a deal that good, you'll be able to put a MK-31 heavy machine gun under the Christmas tree for everyone in the family. Because that's exactly what everybody would want. Biotechnica, our 2077 bronze medal goes to Biotechnica, who offers up to six, yes six, paid vacation days per year. Oh glorious, six paid vacation days. Kang Tao, China's largest tech and arms manufacturer, treats its employees to a gold membership with Trauma Team. Never spend a single minute of your 50 year loyalty pledge worrying about paying for health coverage. 50 years, eh? I guess if you live to be 100 plus it's not that bad. Finally, we have Night Corp. While this hometown product can't compete with the biggest international players in terms of budget or ambition, they certainly know how to spoil their staff. Night Corp snuck into our Big Five after a recent announcement to reduce the mandatory work week to just 80 hours. They are a must apply for all your family focused folks out there. My goodness, there's this much lore everywhere. I'm going to be like running my voice ragged, bringing all this stuff to you guys. Here's another one. My god, another lore dump. What really happened in Arasaka Tower? If Militech was behind the assault on Arasaka Tower in 2023, and if there's actual evidence to support that, then why didn't Arasaka return the favor and nuke Militech? By now, there's no doubt the bomb was manufactured by Militech, but that doesn't mean they detonated it. 
I confess I'm not a huge fan of the popular theory that Johnny Silverhand, the controversial rocker boy, was behind the whole thing. In fact, I'm not really a Silverhand fan, period. Silverhand was a poser and a blowhard, not someone who would actually follow through on his grandiose bluffs. Full disclosure, I just don't think Silverhand would have the balls to pull off something like that. Let's think this through. Who hates corporations the most? Nomads, obviously. Remember that mass market BD called Badlands Raid from the 20s about a band of nomads who attack a Militech convoy? Well, guess when it premiered. That's right, on the night of the attack. Coincidence? I think not. Yes, yes, there's a Silverhand cameo in there somewhere, but that's just a marketing ploy. A BD scrolled by a bunch of cactus huggers who wouldn't sell for an any, an any without a, a recognizable face. An any, yeah. A uh, Eddie. I think that's supposed to be Eddie, isn't it? Anyway, but I'm more intrigued by the main actress. How is it she didn't star in any other production despite Badlands Raid's huge sales? Where was she during the attack? Okay, a little bit of lore about the nuking of Arasaka Tower, which I did read about or hear about in a lore video I was watching. I do find the lore in this game very, very good. Jesus, the Asian markets are going wild. Not to mention London, Zurich, Warsaw. Another one. <sighs> yep. I'm sorry, guys. A lot of exposition. Night City Branch. This guy is intended for all Arasaka agents beginning work in Night City. Please follow the local code of conduct as it may differ from other Arasaka locations. You must possess the latest corporate issue firmware at all times when inside Arasaka Tower. Consider this your primary form of identi identification. All agents are required to issue scheduled progress reports to the appropriate senior officers. All lead officers are responsible for reporting to the operations manager. In the event of operational crisis, all agents are required to report to Arasaka Tower. Exemptions can be issued to active field agents involved in highly classified operations. All operations used in Night City fall under the oversight of the Director of Special Operations, Director Abernathy. Okay. What is this picture over here? How will Arasaka shine? It depends on you. So we are working for Arasaka, which is the biggest and best um, corpo employer in the city. Also probably the most cutthroat and um, lethal and stuff. What are these guys doing? Doing your VR thing. What was the guy's name in uh, Star Trek? Gordy? I think it was Gordy, right? The guy that had the, the thing over his eyes. He was blind. Pretty sure it's Gordy. Okay, let's look around a bit more. Ooh, we got a mech over here. They transferred them out of Frankfurt now to emergency centers. Just got the latest report from Basel. I heard there's two dead. Three. They took out another Militech assassin near the border. Dude, your hair is super shiny. It's like literally gold-plated hair. So, something bad going on somewhere. People have been, uh... Pulled out of places and stuff. How's it going, my man? You look a little bit stressed out. Okay, then. Here is the door out. These guys are obviously... Guards, and we can't go out. Yeah? Got my eye on you. Okay, if you say so. Class A employees are requested to... Don't mind me, I'm just running in the halls. Boy, Jenkins is gonna be kinda of pissed at us that we haven't gotten there yet. I'm just wandering around like a freaking rube. Looking at all the stuff that is locked. I can't even attempt to open it yet. Don't have any good lockpicking skills, I guess. Security guys. Already got that. Uh-oh. I was... Am I stuck? Oh no. Oh no, okay, there we go. We're good. I like the um, decor. It's very, very military. The red and dark gray and black and even the red plants and the white. I, some people might find this decor a bit severe, but I think it's actually very nice looking. I really enjoy it, actually. Okay, um... If an attribute requirement appears in red, it means your attribute level is not high enough to perform that action. Okay, so my attribute for calling this elevator is not high enough? What what does that mean? That's confusing to me. 
cannot go through here. Okay. Go, we're in the tutorial. Let's go and do the tutorial thing. I'm not going to spend too long. It's telling me to go somewhere. Let's go and do it. 1919 was a year of great change in our history. The onset of American prohibition. The end of World War One, And the birth of Saburo. Oh boy, it's our boss. He's pissed. Christ, V, you were supposed to be here an hour ago. Got held up, but I'll be right there. Fucking Frankfurt. That Abernathy bitch will probably dump it in our laps. Ugh, hanging up. I'll be in my office. And you hurry up. Abernathy referring to the senior... The director of special ops, Abernathy, I think. Pretty sure. It's kind of stared at me, bro. It's a little bit, a little bit creepy there. Militech hit three of ours. Mm. Now we're evacuating the rest of our facilities Smooth. in that part of Europe. What's the status of the three? They're dead. Once everyone else is safe, we'll issue a statement to the media. Say what? A tragic accident during routine security system. So not just one or two, but three dead. What is this? Soul Hiker. A dragon, a biography of Yorinobu Arasaka. This would be the head of the Arasaka Corp, yeah? Tamed Dragon, a biography of Yorinobu Arasaka. Not the head, the son of the emperor or whatever. In many ways, the story of Yorinobu Arasaka resembles an ancient parable. The youngest son of one of the modern world's most powerful CEOs renounces his heritage, forfeits his birthright, and instead chooses a rough and tumble life on the streets of Tokyo, only to later scaper back home to the warm, sheltered bosom of his family with his tail tucked. At least that's the story most have pieced together from official sources. But why did Yorinobu betray his father in the first place? Why did he return? For several years, I dug deeper, followed leads, reached out to his former friends and acquaintances. Slowly, I began to unearth answers to some of the public's most burning questions. Yorinobu was born in Tokyo in the early 21st century, the first child to Saburu Arasaka's third wife, Machiko. By all accounts, he seemed a happy child that grew to become a pleasant young man, that is, until his graduation from the University of Tokyo at the age of 21. Following the ceremony, the Arasaka family threw a party in his honor. At some point in the evening, Saburo invited his son to his study for a private conversation. What transpired there is wholly unknown, but after corroborating varied accounts, it is clear Yorinobu must have slipped out of from the party and the estate only a few hours later. Gone, a whisper in the night. Over the next few years, Yorinobu was occasionally spotted in the company of a nomad group known as Kotetsu no Ryu, or the Steel Dragons. As part of this youthful rebellion, he purposefully involved himself in altercations with Arasaka agents and promoted anti-corporate slogans. After his family eventually confirmed Yorinobu's involvement, Saburo renounced his son, and Kei, Saburo's eldest son, swore to exact revenge on his younger brother. Ironically, it was later at Kai's funeral that Yorinobu at last reconciled with his family. Stubbornly proud to a fault, many were surprised by the Arasaka Patriarchy's conciliatory approach. What caused Saburo to change his mind? What role might have Yorinobu's sister, Hanako, played in their peaceable reunion? That much yet remains to be discovered. Okay, so here's what we know so far. Um, Saburo Arasaka is the current head of Arasaka Corp, the largest corporation in Night City, one of the most powerful in the world. They are an arms dealer. Um, they had an older son, Kai, who died uh, for some reason. We don't know what happened, but he had sworn revenge upon the younger son, Yorinobu. Uh, Yorinobu also has a sister, Hanako. So Yorinobu was rebellious and kind of um, went his own way. Probably got some, got some anti-corporate ideas when he was at college, you know, as college kids tend to do. Rebelled a bit, um, joined some movements. Mr. His Jenkins parents asked, obviously did not approve. In his office. Thank you, my good man. And um, I'm going to take your stapler. This is a red swing line. It's mine now. Hey, V. It's been ages. But yeah, basically, um, there was a spat in the family. The older brothers swore vengeance on the younger brother, Yorinobu. Um, after the older brother Kai's death, there was a reconciliation during the funeral. And um, now there are two remaining two, uh, two remaining heirs to the Empire of Arasaka, Yorinobu and Hanako. And um, that may play a bigger role later on. I guess we'll see. 
It's me, Frank. We met during Icefall. East Coast, remember? <laughs> I didn't know you were in Night City. How have you been? Uh, you know how it is. A week ago, I was still in Cape Town. I heard you're in Counter Intel. You must have a shit show on your hands right now after Frankfurt. Jenkins is your lead, right? Is he what everyone says he is? What's everyone say about Jenkins? That he's effective. Like any psychopath. Apparently, he's gone a little crazier lately. Hey, he's in a tough spot. The director was supposed to greenlight his promotion when the Japanese arrived. She stabbed him in the back instead. And you, who do you work under? Abernathy. She's really good. Came up with the whole Cape Town ploy on her own. Abernathy. The bitch who burned my boss in the promotion to Spec Ops Director. You know how it is. Things happen. Yeah. They do indeed. Tell me about the op in Cape Town. Operation Cargo. You know about it? Arming local conflicts in Africa. I didn't know that was you. It was me. We dumped crates full of rifles into the ocean. They had to be pulled out using borrowed fishing boats. Same old circus, but hey, that's how wars are won. Listen, sorry, uh, in a bit of a rush right now. We'll talk another time, okay? Sure, sure. Good seeing you again. Interesting old acquaintance. These must be the um, the war rooms for these uh, this corporation. Protocols active. System security confirmed. Man, like to have a monitor setup like that for my work. Looks pretty damn sweet. Just trying to soak in the uh, various conversations. They all seem to be relevant to what's going on with us and our boss. So the more information we have, the better. Vinyl record. Just a... Uh, Random vinyl record there, huh? I actually kind of hope I don't find any more shards because my voice is getting tired of reading. Okay, Compeki Plaza. Luxury, beauty, discretion. What holds more power than the place? An idea. Compeki Plaza is more than a hotel. It is a space in which reality is curated to even the most refined tastes and sensibilities. At Konpeki Plaza, you'll find 420 exclusive apartments, 20 conference rooms, 14 fully cooked pools, blah blah blah. I don't- okay, this is not really that important. We're just gonna skip that one. Counterfeit documents, ooh. Okay, this is not where I'm supposed to go, obviously. Is there a map? Not- Indoors, it looks like. Um, yeah, not an indoor map. There's an outdoor map. That's where we came in at. Yeah, that's where we came in at. Okay. Very good. Let's, um,. Go over here and see what's over here. Is this is where I'm supposed to go. No, it's not. Where I'm, this, I'm supposed to go outside. Can I not go over here? Access denied. Oh. Oh. Okay. Fair enough. I think we have explored around enough. Let's go where we're supposed to actually go. Uh, let's do something over here that I missed. There is dice. The Valor mission back to square one. The failure of the Valor mission, which undermines the progress of the Lucero 3.0 program, our understanding of exoplanet group 972609, may be definitive proof that the current space race is hindering overall space exploration efforts rather than feeling them through noble competition. In 2060, Lagaretto predicted that the pace of technological development at the time would lead to the confirmation of the existence of white holes and discovery of a theory of quantum gravity within 15 years. Alas, those 15 years have come and gone, 
Perhaps if the ESA, SRC, and Orbital Air tried to cooperate and share information in the spirit of science for a change, rather than torpedoing each other's research, the situation today might be very different. I do not claim to be the visionary, the visionary that uh, Lagaretta was, but I would bet my lost Euro dollar that the next major mission success will launch from O'Neill 1, not Earth. Okay, talking about the space race and how it has not really yielded results yet. Oh, I can open this. I need your stamp on something. It's possible one of our assets was exposed. Um, okay. Is it Frankfurt again? No, different issue. Local. Tell me. Quick version. Our agent at Biotechnica suspects they might be on to him. They recently granted him red security clearance. That's top. He's been fishing for dirt, but it's been slow. Your point? They're clean. Like we run orphanages clean. Bleached server clean. We suspect they flagged him and are feeding him phony data. Should we green light Xfil or let him keep looking? Projected risks? Limited threat to life. Not Biotechnica style. Blackmail's possible. Leveraged against false accusations in the media. The guy has kids. He'd crack. Keep him there digging. We invested way too much getting him that deep to back out now. You sure? Do I really need to repeat myself? Oh, of course not. All right, so... Oh, all right, so this is, um... Is this my desk? Sure, why not use that cog booster? And, uh, sure, pick up that card. Okay. I guess it's our trauma team card if this is our desk. Maybe? Vacation with the stars. Okay, I'm not going to read this. Just a spam message. Your bio data indicators are reading abnormally. High levels of cortisol... Catecholamine and adrenaline persist from previous results. Hormone blocker usage is prescribed for only two weeks before requiring a baseline test, but your usage has continued beyond these weeks. Meet with your trainer to prepare a recovery plan. Okay, so we're not uh, we're not in great shape. Our guy is not. He's got stress because he works here. Post mortem operation. Wormy apple. Okay, I don't think this is really relevant. Okay, I'm not gonna... No, this stuff is really relevant to me. Uh, net. Ooh, so we can go, we can go on the internet. Or it's the Arasaka intranet, not the internet. Agent V exhibits a high degree of personal initiative and has proved himself an effective autonomous operative, albeit difficult to control. As a clever and ambitious individual, Agent V is suited to working in the field. Moreover, Agent V is committed to completing her assignments and fulfills an appropriate amount of overtime. Completing her assignments, and as says he does not display any signs of disloyalty against Arasaka. Okay. Alrighty then. Okay. Um, there's a lot to explore here. I'm not going to spend too much time. We were, after all, supposed to go back and uh, talk to our boss, Please Mr. Jenkins. If I read everything here, it's going to be nothing but rereading stuff for an entire episode. Have a seat, VP. Right with you. We have to handle this voting issue before we lose our bases in the Sea of Clouds. They're about to begin. What's the situation? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just as we thought. You know what to do. Start now. Did my boss just murder a bunch of corporate executives? Director Abernathy. I watched the vote. What the hell was that? The deep clean. 
after the shit Frankfurt dumped on us. As we agreed, I got rid of the problem. I told you to resolve the problem, not massacre the European Space Council. Do you understand what the cover-up will cost? We would have lost the license. Now we gained a week. That's a win. Path of least resistance always. No nuance has you written all over it. We're not done talking about this. I hate that bitch. I always have. This isn't the first time Abernathy set you up. No, not the first. Smeared me in front of Japanese execs, so she'd be the one promoted to director of spec ops. A cunt. Now she's holding a gun to my head to make sure I don't try anything. But she won't pull the trigger because she needs me. I do what she doesn't have the guts to do. Divide and conquer. Effective strategy. <sighs> Effective. What would you do in my position? You have to defend yourself. Remind Abernathy you're not her doormat. You're right. Smack her once, but hard. She'll respect you. Seems we see eye to eye on this issue. Take this. It's what I've collected over the past weeks. Biometrics, trauma team card, names of her closest associates, driver, chief of security, lover, lover's husband, everything. Use it and make sure Abernathy won't be a problem anymore. You said it. I need to defend myself. If anyone finds out we even talked about this, I'll go down with you. That's true. But everyone knows you only made it to where you are thanks to me. So it's not like they could ever believe you played no part in it. What'll happen if I refuse? Don't ask stupid questions. This isn't a request, V. We seem to understand each other. Take this, too. Use this money only, find the right people for the job, no corporate affiliation. And for the core task, use someone you know inside out. Are we clear? Yeah, I think we're clear. Good. In that case, I'll await your report. And good luck with it. I have my AV waiting outside. It's yours to use. And don't disappoint me. Okay, so... Is our job here to find dirt on Abernathy? To smear her in some way? Or are we to kill her? Report Sea of Clouds. Mare Nubium, Latitude Sea of Clouds, Clouds, Lunar Mare on the side, near side of the moon. What is this? Economic significance negligible. Composed primarily of research facilities serving as cover for more complex operations. Tactical significance high. Mare Nubium is a base of black clinics essential for research into innovative and experimental technologies. Logistical significance moderate to located in the relative close proximity to Oceanus Procellarum. The location of the western mass driver. I don't know what half of that means, but okay. All right, then. I have those reports you asked for? I don't have the time. Just send them my way. You look so sad. AB, you alive? I'll stink to the Viper pit. Need your help, Jack. Got some biz. <sighs> Always biz with you, Mano. You in some trouble? Not yet. Right now, I just need a soul I can trust. That kind of sounded like a yes. Meet me at Lizzie's. Be there in an hour. 
Okay, read the report on your terminal and then go to the AV garage. Alright, so um, if this is my terminal, then I guess we read the report here. Report summary, NUSA. After assessing data collected from contact reports in Utah, Nevada, Arizona, and Montana, we did not confirm any active NUSA efforts against Arasaka assets or operations in federal territories. However, the same conclusion cannot be drawn regarding potential threats from Militech. Although the corporation has obvious close ties to the new USA, or the new, new SA? I don't know how to say it, NUSA government, we were unable to obtain valuable intel due to the much tighter control on internal procedural and information flows. We must rely on unconfirmed circumstantial evidence obtained by our own field agents for the time being. Conclusion, further human gathering required. Current data are circumstantial and do not allow for indisputable conclusions. Okay. That was a whole lot of not much, I guess. So, go to the AV garage. Got it. I have nothing to add. Tell your people. These got places to go, man. Did you see the report on the vote? I mean, shit. The world's going to tear us apart when the word gets around. The world's never going to find out. And the few who do know the truth, they won't know it for long. Yeah, because we killed everyone at the vote to make sure we got our way. Access granted. This is our luxury AV. Is this in for air vehicle? Please provide your destination. Destination Lizzie's Bar. Noted. En route. of the European Space Council screeched to a grisly halt following a failure in a neural stabilization system. Five European Space Council members are dead, while three remain in critical condition. Authorities are still looking into what might have caused this shocking incident. The Council members were all wearing Biotechnica-provided devices. The corporation's representatives have, as yet, refused to comment. Our reporter is on the scene. We'll have updates on developments as they come to light. Stay with M54 News for the latest. Yeah, that was our boss that did that. Our psychopath boss. And his boss, Abernathy, was not super happy about it. And um, we're going to try to either eliminate or discredit Abernathy in some way. Not sure what the plan is there for that. Life coach. Hello, V. Yes? We weren't scheduled to connect till the end of the week. Quantified Satori received notification of a somewhat troubling biometric reading. I felt I should call. Is everything in order? I'm dealing with a temporary nuisance. Nothing you should worry about. Just think back to our last session. The neuromotor relaxation exercises three times a day, they'll soothe and lift your spirit. I know this. Sure, okay. See you later. Just looking outside the window here, it's just so reminiscent of uh, Blade Runner. Like, it just, man, really getting huge Blade Runner vibes. I love both of the movies, the original and the, uh, the new one as well. Um, kind of partially the new one because it's a lot more modern, of course. And it's a lot less slow, but they're both very, very good movies. If you enjoy Cyberpunk, I'd really suggest checking out those movies. No designated landing site has been detected at the destination. Find a spot close to the bar, as close as you can. Fuck procedures. Initiating landing sequence based on new parameters. We're too important to go through procedures. Remember that sign from some of the trailers? And Lizzie's bar sounds familiar too from the trailers. We have arrived at your destination. Fuck's your problem! 
them psycho suit. This look like a landing pad to you. Could have fucking crushed us. Jesus Christ. Okay, no, no, hey, we, we ain't looking for no beef with you. Dude. Yeah, bitch. That's what you are as a bitch. Yeah, why is this happening? Because you're being a dick. We don't take no shit, man. Seems to be stuff just laying around that we can take. Peck cards. I don't know if this stuff is useful for, like, crafting, or is it a... Yeah, that's a, um... Baklava with shock absorbent composite layering. Very nice. Bro, nice shot. That's a long ways away. Ooh, look at that ray tracing. Ooh, look at the reflections. Ooh la la, it's so cool. It does dip my FPS a little bit though, I have to admit. Game's running very smooth overall though. Is there anything else over here? I think we're done here. It does indeed. I don't want any trouble. Just here on business. Good to hear. So then... Welcome to Lizzie's. Okay, a bit of a delay there in her speech. I was like, so then are we getting in? How's it hanging? I have a tiger, babe. Okay. Yeah, got something to say? Why are you... Whoa! You're... Your food just, um, went from the floor into your hands, and now it's all gone. If you got something to tell me, say it. Don't just stand there like a limp dick. He's doing it again. He's gonna eat this entire thing in, like, two bites. You're very wet, sir. It's a bit... it's a bit weird. I'm not gonna lie. Spray paint? Because who doesn't need some spray paint now and then? No future. Cool artwork. Fucking Moxies. From what I know, the Moxies are a gang of sex workers, I think, that um, have a habit of killing their Johns. Your daddy is the hero. Brain dance. That's what a BD is. It's a brain dance. It's like it's like reliving an experience, kind of like. Um, the movie Strange Days, if you ever saw that, I think. That was a really cool movie, I thought, by the way. Ooh, look at those reflections. It's so cool. I'm, I'm only half, like, you know, serious about that. I love the music so far in this place. What's going on over here? Just, you could do this at home, you know, I'm just saying. No, no, I'm just fine. Thanks. Okay. Ooh. Cannot see myself there. Max Doc. Is that some kind of healing thing? It's kind of weird you can just walk in here into this nice area and just go in here. I guess if you need to fuck right here, you just do it. Got some kind of cap, it looks like. The Vampire Prince is back, a new shard. 
Monster Hunters Beware Turbo Dracula is a dark, gritty, visceral action game experience where you play as the plasma-thirsty prince of puncture wounds himself, Dracula. He has risen again, this time as a digiclone in the body of a chrome, but his appetite for blood hasn't waned one bit. Assisted by the descendants of an ancient bloodline, he wages war against Senator Helsingcorp, headed by the Demon Brothers Manchester. They aim to take over the world with the help of genetically spliced werewolf zombies. Draculus must face difficult choices such as whether to resurrect his old friend Viago or to transmutate into his nemesis. A polished real-time combat system with a non-linear storyline offer the player a deep immersion in single player. Okay, this is a video game. It's cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> We can just walk into the, um... Oh, some eddies over here. We're rich, dude. We got a lot of eddies. Just walk over here, though. Bounce back, mark one. Instantly restores 15% of health and then 3% health per second for 30 seconds. So a total of 85%. Wait, no, way more than that. It's like a full heal. How's it going? Hey, watch it. Fuck you too, buddy. Got any drinks I can have? Looks like no. Come back to my place. Grab one last drink. Ugh. Don't even start. Ooh. Shot down in flames, my man. I'm sorry to hear that. Better luck next time. What is this? Do the thing. What you see is what you get. What you slot is what you got. The girl brushed a violet lock of hair from her forehead and winked at the man with a silver tattoo standing on the opposite side of the room, sending him the studied smile of a charming ditz. At this moment, Lucy Moray was the fluff brain daughter of Cosmotech CEO known for her love of hot pink cars and an IQ that matched her shoe size. She couldn't afford to slip out of character, not if she wanted to finish the job. Hey, she called out in a thin, pouty voice with a note of vocal fry. So glad you came by. Ever since Daddy bought me this cafe for my B-Day, almost no one comes here anymore. She had him then, hook, line, and sinker. He turned to look at her, some exaggerated, yet flirtatious pity in his expression, then started over toward the counter. Lucy executed a quick scan to identify the organic parts of his body and prepared the hyperdermic needle containing the sleeping agent. She took three steps in the tattooed man's direction and, as she's done dozens of times before, pretended to stumble. Of course, he caught her as she fell into his chest, then in a blur, Lucy injected the needle into an exposed patch of organic tissue. No gas of surprise, no shouts, not a single peep as he slumped to the floor. Lucy smiled again, this time in triumph. I have him, Peter, she hollered toward the back room, dropping her sugary valley girl tone. Is the deck ready? Without waiting for an answer, she grabbed her pair of Cosmo Glass and launched the neural data retrieval program. She was no longer Lucy Murray, but the elusive netrunner known as Bubblegum, the best paid data thief in Night City. She would not remain herself for long. In a moment, she would soon become the man with the silver tattoo. Bubblegum loved her job, but breaking into people's memories was like riding a brain dance emo high. She felt as these foreign limbs become her own. She absorbed their thoughts, views, and mannerisms. It was no different this time. The tattooed man's mind began to eclipse hers until the last iota of Lucy Murray was pushed out. His name was Mark Collins and he was walking along a derelict metro tunnel. There was a stale mustiness in the air. Mark Collins hates that smell. It must be about here, he thought. Listen, damned if I know how your neurosystem works, so I'll just say it out loud, he muttered as if to himself. I know you'll crawl into my mind soon. The job comes from us. This was the only safe way to contact you. In a second, we'll be right below Cosmotech. I'll show you what your father's keeping locked up in the basement level 5. 
so watch close because only you can help us. I'm actually kind of intrigued by the story now. I want to learn more. Okay. We're supposed to go meet Jackie here. There, there is an actual objective. We're not supposed to just wander around aimlessly the whole time. I do enjoy the lore, though, you know? Here's Jackie. Just checking here real quick. Okay. Sit down and tell me what cut your shorts in or not. It's good to see you too, Jack. How you been? I got sparks flying between the Valentino boys and Maelstrom. Eddie's there for the taking. As long as you don't get flatlined. Yeah, I know how it is. Can't complain, but we ain't here to shoot the shit about me. Let me hear about this problem of yours. Data shard. Take it. Won't come cheap. It'll have to be done on the sly. No trail. Hard eddies only. Got the money. Full crew job for sure. Techie, maybe two. A runner with a gold-plated brain. And a driver with wheels from hell. Not to mention a solo. Huh. The piece I'm missing. That what you need from me? My trigger finger to zero this lady? Thought I could always count on you, Jack. Well, you know me. I'm not all sunshine and rainbows, but this job ain't my style. Actually, I didn't think it was yours either. You know how our sock operates. Or, okay, maybe you don't. This isn't a professional request I can refuse. But I can. And I am. And you should too. Now, what do you say we look her up and talk life? Gracias, mamita. Double tequila with grenadine and lime. Nothing better for drowning nerves. This is the century. To this. Was that a toast? What the hell does that even mean? You raise a glass to your mama, your hermana. To the mamacita you made at the bar. But this doesn't say a damn thing. To this. This job and all the rest of that corpo bullshit. You know what it is? Un pacto con el diablo. They're saying it all along. Soldiers sold those Arisaka fuckers. Today, they got you to zero somebody. Tomorrow, they'll get somebody else to zero you. I think I have a choice. If I refuse, they take everything. And leave me nothing. I will let them. They'll also take the fist they got gripping your balls. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty picky about who I let touch my balls. And Saburo and his matones, oh, they definitely do not make the cut. Maybe someday. But for now, I'm still well within their reach. You'll always be within reach. Hey, you lost? Got a problem? V, is that right? Jenkins send you? Don't believe I know you. You don't, but we know you very well. Jenkins assigned you a task today. You'll share all the details with us. No, don't believe I will. That's between me and Jenkins. Ugh, fuck! How you feeling? Pretty sharp dive, huh? Your access to company networks is hereby revoked. In two minutes, any company cybernetics in your possession will cease functioning. Give us the data you received from Jenkins. This will conclude termination procedures. Information's on the shard. Smart choice. <sighs> we done? With the formalities? Yes. But I think Abernathy would gladly up our fee for ridding her of a piece of rot like you. Stand up. You're coming with us. Come on, move Fire it. Fire spinning. 
I think you fellas might have forgotten just how far from home you are. I'm not sure this body was your style, let alone a healthy option. Yeah, claro. Is that a threat? Well, you start shooting, maybe we join in, huh? Before you know it, somebody might die today. We have what we came for. It'll do for now. Jackie saving her ass. It's like sandpaper. I'm not sure I can breathe. It's like when my little primito was ditching drugs. Nasty chills. Trembling hands. Cold sweat and dry even. Y yeah. Sounds about right. Hey. Hey. Should I get you to a ripper? Or, I guess, maybe drama team's on its way. TT policy's gone, Jack. So are my biochem controllers, company pad. I mean, they've seized my bank account. Not frozen, seized. Jesus, these fuckers move fast. You sure you feel okay, though? I mean... Give me a minute. Get my shit together. That... That'd be that, Jack. Just lost control of my life. Completely. I'd say you got it back. You couldn't say no to him. So they said it to you. This is a turn for the better. You'll see. Besides, you haven't lost everything. No, Jack, I did. Lost everything. Access to Intel systems. My pad, car. Contacts. Every shred of credibility. Oh. Well, at least you still got the eddies for the hit job. Probably some fat ass chunk of cha-chang. Just right for a new start. That's right, fool. Buckle up. Hey. You hearing all right? Don't look so hot. V! V! Hey, hermano. Your new life? It starts now. Hello there, Night City! Stanley here with you, and we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams. Ooh, I love this town. Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. Every new day here means a hundred new but only half these gods will survive a year, and that's if it's a good one. And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Black Hand, and Waylon Boa Boa. The greater the risk, the bigger the bounty, kids. Or so they say. But you can only be a major league player for so long. The faster you live, the faster you burn out. If you don't get a bullet to the brain first, Legends, know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard. Matters not where you're from, matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. In Night City, the city of dreams. Pretty cool. Sort of montage of uh, coming up in the world. Chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? All right, guys. I think we're going to end the episode here. I'm going to actually skip the tutorial, I think, as well. Not now, Jack. No time. Maybe later. 
Sure, sure. Mañana. Mañana. Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Sha. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay, so yeah, I think we're going to end the episode here, guys. Um, we will start on our mission in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. I'm really excited to get into the actual combat and stuff in the game and start really experiencing the game. Um, got kind of the intro done there. It was really cool seeing the, uh, you know, what we what we do with um, Jackie to get our life back after it's all taken from us and stuff. Very, very cool. Anyways, guys, I'm going to save here, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. You're moving.